Walter and welcome to a review for you. Uh, we just watched uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, this is my friend Arif right here. Uh, so yeah, overall I think this is a very average movie and yes, that's his cat right there. Uh, uh, for me, I think this movie from beginning to end was just very middle road. Like, I definitely think uh, Sony tried its best to kind of um, compromise with this movie. And I'm, I'm actually like I was actually laughing when I saw the Dell computer in the trailers as well. And so I was like, okay, that's their, <laughs> that's their uh, version of compromise is Dell. <laughs> so that was just something funny for me. Um, uh, the first act was, what was the first act about? I don't even remember. Avengers. That yeah okay fine we we opened on the Avengers and that's what that was one of the things where I was a bit concerned because. We didn't really know how this would take place. I, I mean, we know it's, it was gonna take place in the Avengers universe, but where where it went and where it started off was very jarring for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. So we have um, Michael Keaton's character. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Tombs. Oh right, Tombs. Okay. Uh, Vulture, it's Kibiski Yeah, okay, Birdman It's a vulture Did you watch that movie? Birdman, yeah Birdman? Birdman? Okay, so Birdman We're gonna have to have a video Okay Birdman was the main villain here Big And I think that's one of the things for me Is that now Marvel is doing so well in its comedy It does Here it brings the emotions back Um in a big way, kind of a big way for me because that's something where I'm always looking at uh, Toom's character and uh, he's always bringing something to the table because he's well, he's he's been Jim essentially because of the adventures clean up and everything so yeah, that's a uh, kitten his kitten is running around um, for me, the um, MJ character, Michelle uh, yeah, Zandaya. I don't know why her Zaytana. name is Zandaya. I don't know. Zandaya or Zandaya? Zandaya. No, Zandaya. Uh, she was she was always in the back and uh, you know okay it's more about Peter Parker yes but you know I would you know because she's the strong character she was marketed it that way uh, I would have thought that we would see more um, see more of her maybe possibly but we didn't. Um, and Liz's character as well didn't really do much like she was just there for the love interest and that's about it um, here's the thing guys like I found Tom Holland's character to be kind of annoying at first but in this one he <laughs> he was more annoying obviously but like so at some points like he realizes that this is like some points that you have to slow down and this is some points you have to go like okay like I don't need to be this like super fast uh, super like millennial kind of character is all I'm saying uh, and then the third act really showed me that this is something uh, Marvel does well which is the always the end sequences why did you do that? because she's pressed the button stop recording <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, uh, um, for me, I think Marvel has had a slew of villains that didn't do well, but this villain uh, knew what he's doing, and I think it's because of uh, Michael Keaton's um, acting as well, he's so strong in this. Um, for me, John Favreau was just in this because he's John Favreau. And um, to like for me, I think Tony Stark was the biggest credit for me because he didn't really uh, didn't really bar anything, didn't really like give anything back to the plot or the story. Um, I guess one of my biggest questions is like, how did this, how did this fare to the, to the comics though? Like, was it, was it a comic book character? Probably not, uh, not really, yeah. Because like a lot of people were like, oh yeah, this is the comic book. Spider-Man that we were all waiting for and I'm like is it like I don't know because I, I've never read the comics and, like you've yeah, read most of the comics um, but yeah I think that um, one of the 
biggest things for me is the third act and the third act we got um, Aunt May finding out that he's Spider-Man so that's mainly gonna be playing out into the next <coughs> the next the next few movies I definitely think maybe possibly I, I'm not sure next five years <laughs> maybe the next five years mm-hmm. I don't know yeah, whoever has the right <laughs> to do to do another Spider-Man movie well it's still under Sony because Sony is not gonna give it up easily um so yeah I, I don't have much else to say well um. let me tell you my <laughs> point of view right guys yeah. hello <laughs> okay well i personally enjoyed that uh they changed mj from a pretty girl i mean she's pretty but from you know the basic alpha girl where all the girls are surrounded are surrounding them you know looking up to her and she's not she's not basically like the example model girl which is list portrayed by list so I kind of like that addition. It was a new take on MJ, which is nice. And I kind of like this MJ too. She's like, kind of like don't give a fuck, you know. It's quite cool, you know. Um, addition to that, uh, uh, the new best friend. Um, oh yeah, Matt, he Matt, was really good. That was really good. I personally think he was a great addition to the to the Spider Man, Spider Man universe as a solo. Even without the MCU, I think his his he his character was was really valuable to the to the to the story. Uh, he had a lot of humor. He had a lot of like moments like, "What the hell? Are you kidding me? Like, did you just say that, bro?" <laughs> uh, yeah, he was good. Um, Flash. I didn't like Flash. Flash was ridiculous. I think Flash shouldn't have him. No offense. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if they went in the right direction with Flash. Um, you just wanted him to be white, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, no. I'm just saying that because I'm not trying to scare. I, honestly, but if they stay, if they're staying true to the comics, right, I'm just saying that by portraying that Flash is black. Okay, Indian, Indian. Okay, no, I'm not sure if he's Indian. He's I Indian. Think he's uh, Indian. He is Indian, right? Uh, um, and he didn't have that the old Flash, old Flash toughness, you know. Mm-hmm. He was more kind of like just being a dick there. Yeah. Uh, like the old Flashes would tend tend to be like you know uh, top of the uh, sports in schools, you know. Mm-hmm. They were proper alpha male. Yeah, he's the uh, yeah he was the jock. Yeah, uh, yeah he was a proper jock. But this this Flash was just, yeah. was just a a nerd who was who was, yeah, was the, second to Peter basically. You know? Yeah, he's just a dick. He, he basically, if you watch three idiots, you know this, the other guy who 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 hates the other guy. Yeah, basically that's him. Uh, so and I didn't like him. And yeah, he was just the and the fact that like he, actually, guy. he actually took the trophy out. What the? F- <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like but that. What the? Hell? So <laughs> you so you so guys purposely idea. just put that. I'm I'm, I'm assuming that the, the director just purposely put the fact that he he brought the trophy because that's how self centered he was lah. Mm-hmm. La. You know, but I think that wasn't even that wasn't even necessary. They should have just sold him as a stupid idiot. Mm-hmm. You know, which like the general jockey is. You know, mm-hmm. uh, they which is better. You know. Personally, I think uh. Uh, uh, Michael, yeah. Michael Keaton did a great job. Like mm-hmm. okay, he, he, he talked, we talked about this earlier. Mm-hmm. That I agree that probably second to Norman Osborn, uh, played by William Dafoe. Mm-hmm. I think this is probably the best villain in the MCU thus far. Mm-hmm. Maybe Loki. You can do Loki. I'm not sure, but Loki, I've not seen much character build up, building. Mm-hmm. You know, he is a good actor. Tom Hiddleston is a good actor and everything. But as a character himself, developing from how he how he developed his his hate for. To the point that he can betray the country and everything, mm-hmm. uh, we don't see any of that. So, personally, for me, I still think that at the moment now, uh, Michael Keaton and Willem Dafoe are still the two best uh, villains in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Red uh, Skull, okay, mm-hmm. I'll hit that. Okay, whatever, man. Okay, for me, uh, <laughs> but really, for real, uh, Red Skull, he was good, but um, that's it, he was, just a, he was just a crazy guy. In reality, he was just a crazy politician who who's hungry for power. Mm-hmm. You know, like this guy at least he had this there was purpose to he there was reasoning and purpose to, to what he was doing, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh like he was he actually had a crew, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for me it was funny the fact that he just kept on doing it. Lah. Like the moment after the moment he knew that Tony Stark was on him onto him, he like he like like he killed the first guy. He should have just stuck to that code. <laughs> right? Yeah. Why did you kill the first guy? Why did you kill the first guy then, you know? Uh, if you well, be, to be fair, I mean, that, guy could, that guy could have been an asset to you. Could have been Shocker One and Shocker Two. Well, <laughs> to be fair, the, the first guy didn't really care. Like I mean, but the first guy was, I guess, yeah. a bit reckless, lah. Mm-hmm. Like, he was a bit reckless compared to the others. Yeah, and he he's he's not in this for like the proper reasons as well. Like I, I mean, proper reasons as in like, even if you're a dick, you know, you you have to want. To, the money, you know, he was just doing this for fun, so I, I don't think he would have done yeah. anything better. Um, yeah. So, like, how do you think this is gonna be, like, played into the Avengers? Because, like, I'm just thinking, like, this is 
this is this very you know Marvel like as in like there's not much connections into the Avengers except for Captain America who was who's in my opinion just like forcefully put inside there just to kind of be that Oh, shucksy bo- oh, shucksy doodles! You know, it, it's well, uh, they're trying to make Captain that, America. If you ask me, just, that just that was just basically them trying to like yeah, he's the, the more realistic, yeah, yeah. in the realistic thing lah. But oh yeah, it was you completely know. unnecessary yeah. too. I I do agree. So with that. uh yeah uh and then the the facility that really does remind me of the end of um Fantastic Four because that was I was like yeah this space does remind me of Fantastic Four but you know none shall speak the name because. Fantastic Four didn't do well, but um, I think that the new the new location looks pretty pretty badass. Um, you can I've, see it in Ant Man. Okay, I'm just, just, just letting yeah. you know you can see it again. Ant Man. Have you seen Ant Man? I have, but uh, uh, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> do you remember? If you remember, remember the ending, it's a part where Ant Man fights a Falcon. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a part. He infiltrates the Avengers Avengers headquarters. Well. Oh, was that the same one? Yeah, that is the exact same building. Just letting you know. Okay. But it looks different though. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe it's my movie. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and yeah, technically, you can only see <laughs> at, at the end of Avengers of Ultron. Mm-hmm. Uh, it rises up at the age of Ultron, at the end there, where he, like, all the recruits, Avengers assemble, right? Uh, where you can see visions. Uh, that's basically, that, that was a hang. Or maybe I just don't care. Mm, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you should be reviewing it, motherfucker! Motherfucker, you should be reviewing that yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let you, I guess, I guess you, want to, you want to point it out, but yeah, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah. It has been in the other movies, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, but the fact this is the first but, time, no. Yeah, it's, it is it's not, in its, like, largeness. We get to see the inside. In man, you can. Just letting you know. We get to see the inside? The inside, yeah. Not much lah, not much inside, but more. Yeah, I mean, they're just flying in. But, but basically, that's what you liked about it, like, the, the, fly, the fly over, yeah. like. No, no, I, I mean the the real like office space. The office like, space really was basically the same place where a Captain America called them recruit. Yeah. It looked exactly the same. But no, that was in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you do <laughs> I, 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 You see this? You see this? I, I uh, see the, the garage. The, I will come on my YouTube <laughs> channel. No, you guys come to watch me react, okay? <laughs> the, I just wanted to see the, the rooms though. I just, you know, the meeting rooms. Or whatever, you know the the uh, press conference. You know, I I thought we were gonna see that, but we didn't see that. But <laughs> it was at least something the press that we saw actually, him go in. The press conference is actually something they. It was actually in the original comic book, Civil War, like mm-hmm. Cap- like Captain America, uh, Captain America. Tony Stark recruited Spider Man, mm-hmm. and that was the first time where Spider Man took off his mask, to the whole. Wow. Okay. Uh, basically, but, but so they, they that was basically I guess the. The hint, mm-hmm. you know, the the sh- the tribute to the mm-hmm. comics, like. uh. And uh, as I said from the trailers, um, Tony is just here to provide the um, the, um, the secondary father character, uh, and uh, Uncle Ben is just dismissed. Like there was just one line, um, for shadowing the death of Uncle Ben, because. If you remember, um, you know, uh, Peter and uh, Ned got into an argument. He was like, "Why don't Ned was like, why don't you tell Aunt May? And then um, Peter was like, I can't do that, especially everything she's gone through. And then we were like, oh, okay. That, that's it. Like Everybody knows Uncle Ben. He, he, yeah, but like... Everybody knows Thomas and Martha Wayne. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah, I mean, for me, they did it enough. Nah, yeah, just to let you know that yeah, there's a reason why I cannot tell Anne May that because she's traumatized already. Okay. And but yeah, that it was kind of dumb the fact that at the end that she does find out. Okay, <laughs> but like we we, I I at least would have liked like some pictures like maybe yeah maybe uh, maybe, shot, they sh- maybe like, yeah that, that, they, that was maybe yeah. yeah that one maybe they could have done like a flashback mm-hmm. or yeah. or just not necessarily or, sh- or, or even just him looking at the yeah, the family photo like not necessarily see. showing him die yeah, yeah, like yeah, we've yeah. seen that a thousand times but I'm just saying you, like you sick bastard <laughs> Martha that's all what did you say what did you say, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> um yeah leads me to my overall score I think this did like I don't know maybe maybe it's like the oversaturation of like superhero movies because I'm coming out of this feeling the same way I, I felt in Wonder Woman. Like, I just felt this was very averagely good. Like, you know, it's not 
the best, but it's eventually good. Some points, uh, Tom Holland did annoy me. I'm just like, kid, shut the fuck up. Just sit down and just cool it down. Get a get a fidget spinner. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like he he kept like <laughs> he kept like shaking his legs and everything. <laughs> He's gonna get his fidget spinner ready. <laughs> yeah, so like just sit down, calm down, get a fidget spinner. Um, get a cat. Get a cat, yeah, why not? Um, so, yeah, or, you know, build more Lego sets with the net. Because that, that was a fucking epic uh, Lego, Lego set. set. <laughs> that, that, that was, was a fucking epic. Fucking 2,800. Okay. Like, yeah, like, at, at the point where he dropped it, I was like, oh my god, no! Yeah! <laughs> 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 they dropped it, it's not that bad. Holy oh, oh, shit! Ready. Come on, I think about it, they had a crew to, to do it, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you may think that he did yeah, it alone, I mean, but of course at the back, yeah, <laughs> there was like, 10 yeah. people, 1, 2, 3, you do this part, you do this part, you do this part. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this, uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit better than Wonder Woman, because Wonder Woman, I give it 7.2, so. Wow. Um, quite generous or something. <laughs> you, talk about, you talk about shit, then you 7.2. Yeah, but like. Uh, you know IMDb. I was like. like, <laughs> was like I, you're not 10 I tomatoes. Kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of like. I, I kind of have to do this because like, I really do appreciate some of the visuals, but. Um, like a lot of the other visuals, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, why, why did we need these visuals? Um, so, yeah, this one gets a 7.5, like a, just a little bit better than Wonder Woman, but um, <coughs> not enough. Like Guardians of the Galaxy was really good. Like the second one, especially. I don't think you watched that. Did you watch that? No. But it was really good. Like they had a real strong storyline to kind of put it in, because they had the pathos, the the motion, uh, and this one is more of the 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 logos. Like why why did he become the villain and everything? Which is also a strong story point. Don't get me wrong, but. I would just have liked to see more conflict between Peter and um, uh, the Vulcan, like so the Vulture. The Vulture, whatever. Vulcan, Vulture, same thing. No, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Vulcan is a Star Trek. I know. I'm just like, okay, oh my god. Spock will be upset. I, I was just okay. like, oh shit. He, I, I will. He I'm, will not be dignified <laughs> to respond that. Right? Oh shit! I've triggered the Star Trek fans. Um, but yeah, this is this is. I would have. Just like a little bit more of the vulture and him, like, like maybe something like the original Spider Man. Remember that the Green Goblin was, uh, you know, his yeah, his, that was um, like I yeah, said, that was until father of Harry. Harry. Yeah, was born, yeah, and also, play, you know, was still the best. You know, he was very close to Peter, <coughs> he was kind of the second, like the father, like the second no, father the as well. He's actor. a father figure. I, 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 I you mean, felt, <coughs> you gave him yeah. feel it as a main actor because, yeah, I mean, you know, he was the contrast. <coughs> <coughs> um, but yeah, like, mm, what, what would you give it? Okay, I'm from five to quite high. Uh, I won't give you seven point five, maybe seven. Uh, maybe seven. Maybe, no, whatever, okay. whatever Amazing Spider Man was, mm-hmm. lower it. Lower it. Well, I give Amazing Spider Man the first one, I give it like an, like an eight. The second one, okay, I gave it a seven point eight, but it was pretty close. <coughs> But yeah, I don't, I don't remember the the first the Amazing Spider Man actually. I don't remember. Really I just remember I just remember a lot of the the plane scenes and all that. That's about it. And the second the Spider-Man Amazing Spider Man. The first Amazing Spider Man was the lizard. Mm-hmm, the lizard. Uh, yeah, and the yeah. uh, second Amazing Spider Man was more of the Harry Osborn um, yeah. resolve. Like, but that's one of the things that like kind of got me off because like we don't really know his motivations at all. Yeah, they um, don't portray Harry here yet, so we don't know if there's gonna be a Harry Osborn in the in this in this in this. Well, in this, uh, in this. but probably there will be, if they are if they're going to continue with the like if I if I am the MCU directors like after Avengers Infinity War, it's gonna be Siege. If you are uh, Siege, is basically Asgard coming down onto Earth, coming coming being pulled back to Earth, mm-hmm. so it creates an issue. Well, uh, and and because of that, mm-hmm. somehow Norman Osborn became president of the United States of America. So imagine the Green Goblin is actually running the United States of America. I mean, you know, so all Donald Trump is. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go! It's, okay, not, it's, it's a reality. too far It's a reality. Okay, so yeah, I guess. So basically, yeah, they, uh, yeah since you say like that, then definitely, <laughs> we make, we make, we make, we make <laughs> Norman Osborn. We just put Donald Trump as a Norman Osborn. <laughs> yeah. But for real, yeah, Norman Osborn will be the president and 
basically heroes will be vigilant, villains and villains will be heroes. Mm-hmm. So that's when the wow, it might it might get really epic then. Uh. Like even even for Infinity War, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be cool to see the mashup, but let's put them in a darker world. That's mm-hmm. uh, like the Avengers Dark Age, but that'll be quite sick. Like, I really wanna watch like man Spider Man instant kill mode. Please do a movie. <laughs> Please! An R rated movie. Do a movie! <laughs> An R rated movie. Instant kill. I wanna see what kind of uh, like, no, like, shoes, bro. Spider Man is like incessantly against it and then Deadpool just uses it. <laughs> Wolverine also just. Yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, well, like Wolverine, Wolverine for me, I, I, Wolverine, dead, I, always, so. I always say Wolverine that in Wolverine movies, right? They actually uh, dumb down the violence a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, technically, hands should be flying off. Mm-hmm. You know, faces should be like complete, like, you know, like straight cut. Like from your face, three three plates, you know, uh, all this kind of stuff. Oh man, but you don't see any of that. Do you see any like like a whole room filled with blood stashes everywhere? No, right? They try to portray it lah, but it's nowhere near how it should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if in the amount of blood that will come out, you know what I mean? Technically that. So. <laughs> Just one song, man. Yes, <laughs> Alex coming back. Jigsaw's <laughs> coming back, man. Yes. But it's not him. Whatever. Okay, come on, I don't think he's fucking brain, bro. Okay, it's definitely not gonna be him. Okay? Well, maybe his son, like Michael his Keaton kid. could become the jigsaw killer. See you very good. <laughs> Goodbye, thank you. Come again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that I mean like there's there is kind of a cliffhanger. I mean, you know, the whole like where are you going, Peter? Why are you keeping secrets about? And then she's like, bye. I'm talking about MJ, by the way. Not not the other MJ, but the, this MJ. Uh, so that's kind of the cliffhanger for this one. So there's definitely going to be more of a solo Spider-Man, I would think. I, I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on this. I don't know. It's going to take a while. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sony and I mean, Marvel you know, yeah, Sony and Marvel character. are kind of like, like two... Like two people in a relationship, but like they don't really like each other. Like I can like, see it becoming a series, unfortunately, which I do not want it to become. Like a, a TV series. Yeah. I can actually see him, uh, but Spider-Man becoming a TV series well, because I mean, he's young. You know, he has a lot of potential. There's a lot of storyline you can do, and plus he's smart. So imagine it's like basically watching a, to- a mini Tony Stark in school, mm-hmm. technically. Uh, well, well, responsible. Actually, I was I was actually yeah. thinking we would get more of that. Like, okay, since we got Tony Stark, like. I would have thought we would get more of Peter Parker like keeps answering questions in class or something. Well, we did, but it's just like for me, it wasn't enough. Like I mean, like and at some points in this movie, as like I told told you about as well. The way they did, the way the way they the way they kind of showed his the way they kind of showed how smart he was was not was not was not evident in this movie like, mm-hmm. compared to the other movies where yeah. you can really see how smart he was. Yeah, it's really like Amazing Spider Man too. Like he he was. Like okay, he was a dead point, but like at least he was trying to do some like science, and you know he was watching YouTube videos, obviously. But like I guess that's how you get better in life as well to watch YouTube videos. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, probably not not too many movies anymore. I I probably baby driver. Like, Hold up, huh? baby driver. Probably. Probably. That's probably and maybe Atomic Blonde. Oh yeah, we saw a trailer for uh, Inhumans. So that's, yeah. that's gonna be something. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> um, you do, why do you want to talk about superheroes, motherfucker? I, I don't know. <laughs> was, was, don't, I, don't, 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 go, don't go to Inhumans. Don't go to Inhumans. I mean, talk, uh, talk about what you want. The, the, the def- like, okay, I, I saw the trailer for The Defenders and I was like, meh. You know, like, I don't know. I don't Even for me, it was meh. Yeah, huh? but I mean, solo they look good. As a as a whole, yeah, kind of uh, meh. Iron Fist. It's basically you see four people doing kung fu. No offense. Wait, have you watched Iron Fist? Oh yeah. Nah, no, just watch the first and the thirteenth, and that's it. Man. You'll be sad. <laughs> 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 okay, I think we've we've gone uh, long enough. How oh, many minutes is that? Okay, that's still four minutes. Uh, uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I think the next movie I'll probably watch is Pirates of the Caribbean. Me. It's not gonna be that. Um, okay, that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, see you then. <laughs>
Okay, hello, my name is Walter and we just watched uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, I'm Walter and uh, this is my friend Arif who's just telling you guys uh, about him. Yeah, he's such a joker. Um, Alright, so um, yeah, this is a very average movie for me. I, I didn't find anything... Oh shit. <laughs> No, it's okay. Just make me look at you. It's fine. What do you? Shaky cam. <laughs> oh, yeah, shaky cam. And Justin cam. Look at the shaky cam. It's actually the shaky cam. 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 Shaky c